Welcome to Elliott High Network. I'm your host, Amanda, from Woodrow Wilson High School. The Washington Teachers Union has launched a major initiative called Learning Doesn't Stop, Lessons from Home. Let's check out our first lesson from Kalpana Sharma from Brightwood Education Campus. Our second lesson will be conducted by Ms. Aiden from Wheatley Education Campus. Let's see what we can learn today. Hello everyone. My name is Kalpana Sharma. I'm an early childhood teacher at Brightwood Education Campus from DC Public Schools. Today, we're gonna to have some fun with math games. That means I'm going to show you some games with numbers and shapes. That's right, let's get going. You might be thinking, why I need to know my numbers? Yes, I heard that someone said, because we use numbers in our daily lives. That's right. For example, if we need to know the time and we are looking at our watch, and if we don't know the numbers, we cannot tell the time. So we need to know our numbers. And there are so many other reasons that we need to know our numbers, right? Okay, so let's have some fun today learning our numbers. So the first one is I'm going to share a song with numbers and which says that we can show numbers in so many ways, okay? Numbers, numbers, every place. I can show numbers in so many ways. Numbers, numbers, every place. I can show numbers in so many ways. I can show four as a numeral, just like this. I can show six as a word, just like this. I can show two in a five frame, just like this. I can show seven in a 10 frame, just like this. Numbers, numbers, every place. I can show numbers in so many ways. I can show six in tallies, just like this. I can show three in a picture, just like this. I can show eight in a number line, just like this. I can show five on my fingers, just like this. Numbers, numbers, every place. I can show numbers in so many ways. So you can play this game. If someone is showing you a number card and asking you, show me whatever that number is in a numeral form. So you're going to write and show them the numeral form. And if someone will ask you, show me, not, show me six in word. So you're going to write down or three in a picture, or seven on the number line. So this is a fun way to show numbers in different ways, okay? Have fun with this game. The next game I want to show you is this game right here. All you would need is construction paper and toilet paper rolls, which I cut them into small pieces just like this and you're going to glue them on the sheet of paper and write down the numbers just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you would need a string to string these numbers. Put them through, start from one, and then go to pull them, pull it up, find number two, and then three, so keep looking for the numbers in order and lace those numbers. This is only up till eight, but you can extend this beyond eight. You can um, make it attached to this sheet and have fun lacing the numbers, okay? The next game I wanted to show you is a board game. We used to, before the cell phones, we used to play board games like this one, like a snake and ladder. And uh, it starts from number one and it goes all the way till 100. 
But if you don't have a game like this, it's okay. We can make our own. So for this, all you would need is a, is a hard cardboard paper like this and a bottle cap to make the circles. What, this is what I've done. I've put the bottle cap and made the circles all the way. And here is the starting point right here. And here is the finish point right here. And you would need markers for making those circles. And you would also need a dice to play this game. So here is one thing, look closely at this. I wrote down the numbers one till 30, but here in the beginning, I made some arrows. So you can see from one to two, from two to three, three to four. So you would know which way to go. So these arrows are going to guide you which way to go. But you can make this game challenging if you don't add the arrows, just like you can see here on the top. I did not add any arrows right here. So it's a challenge. You have to see what comes next. And you really have to pay attention when you're playing this game. So all you will have to do is, again, you can use the caps uh, to play this game. So two players, two different colors, two caps and a dice. So you roll the dice, you look at the number. Uh, if this is yours, you just move your cap. One, two, three. And then whoever reaches here to the finish circle is the winner of this game. So have fun playing this game. Okay. Uh, the next game I have is the pizza matching game. Uh, and for this, I have taken two plates. Um, this plastic plate is bigger in size than the paper plate. And on the paper plate, um, I have made lines like this and I have cut them into small pieces just like this, uh, like the pizza slices, okay? And on the plate, I have again made the lines uh, and I have written the numbers. But these slices, they don't have the numbers, they have the matching dots. So what you have to do is pick up the slice, look at the dots, how many dots, count them, one, two, and then find the number two and place it right on top of it. And then pick up the next one and again, look at the dots, count them, one, two, three, four, five, and find the number five and place it on the matching number. So this way you can have fun playing with numbers. Okay, now another game that I have is an addition game. For this addition game, I have taken a shoe box and I have taken um, two cups here. Uh, to add and then what I have done is I have cut from the bottom so anything that you're going to put right here is going to fall through and come down in the box and here is the envelope right here uh, with the addition sentences right here right just like this one and uh, what you would need is something to put in the cups if you have small balls that's fine or any other toys that's fine but if you don't have one that's okay too you can make your own like i did i just took a tissue paper and i just crushed in crushed it to make a little ball like this and uh, it's done so i'm using two different colors i have the green one and the black so now looking at the first addition sentence, it says three plus two equals, let's find out. So I'm going to use different colors, right? So first I'm going to use the green color and I'm going to put three in this cup. One, two, and three. And in the, on the other cup, I'm going to put only two. One, two and remember that you're using different color because it's three plus two so three di two different colors and then i'm going to look down to see how many i have in all so i'm going to count them all one two three four and five so i have five all together so three plus two equals five wonderful way to have some addition fun right okay and now uh, some subtraction fun, right? 
for my subtraction fun, it's so simple. We're just going to use a storyboard. So this sheet of paper is like our storyboard. And we are going to use our imagination. And again, we're going to use those balls to pretend, imagine to be something else. So how about these are some birds? So I'm going to start my story by saying, uh, when I went for a walk, I saw four birds sitting on a tree. So I'm going to count them and put right here. One, two, three, and four. Then one bird flew away. How many birds are left on the tree? So you can count how many are left. Let's count. One, two, three. Okay, so it's your story. You create your story and have some fun. And again, you can also have uh, subtraction sentences already pre-written. So this will give you an idea that next story is going to be uh, something about six. And then two went away, ran away, flew away, whatever your character of the story is. So be creative, think about it, and have fun doing some subtraction stories. Okay, and the last one I want to share with you is a shape scavenger hunt. So on a sheet of paper, make all the shapes right here on one side. And then uh, you're going to go around your house and look for those shapes. And once you find them, you're gonna make a picture of, of, of the things that you find um, matching with the shape that you've already made on the, on the left side. Okay, so like this one is square, uh, circle, triangle, rectangle, and oval. So I found a window which is square, so I made the square window right here. And I found a clock, a, a circle clock, which looked like this, and I made a picture right here. So have fun uh, looking around in your house, finding different shapes, okay? So I hope you had fun playing with numbers, uh, play these games, uh, enjoy and I'm going to see you next time. It's almost time for me to say goodbye. Okay, it's time for me to say goodbye in a fun and silly way. Bye bye alligator. See you later alligator. Bye bye butterfly. Out the door reindeer. Take care polar bear. That's the end penguin. For more details about this lesson, you can always go to www.wtulocal6.net. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful children. It's your teacher, Miss Aiden. I've missed you so much since last week. We have something really fun that we're going to be working on today. Today, we are going to work on patterns. Can you say patterns? Very good. So our objective is objective 23. It says, demonstrates knowledge of patterns. I have a special word that we're going to review together today. Can you say cores? Cores. Cores are the smallest repeating parts of a pattern, okay? So here is an example of an A, B, pattern. So the purple is my A and the blue is my B. Purple, blue. Purple, blue. That's an example of me reading my AB pattern. Next, I have another important word. Can you say predict? Let me hear you say it. Good job, you did it. 
So the word predict is to say what will come next or in the future. Remember over here with my AB pattern, I was reading it. Purple, blue, purple, blue. Can you predict what comes next? Hmm, think about it for a second, okay? And let me know when you're ready. If you guessed purple, that's right. You had a good prediction and you were able to figure out what comes next. Now, there are various things that you should be able to do with your patterns. So if you're able to copy a simple repeating pattern, what that means is I'm going to model and if you can copy me, that means you can do it. Clap, snap, clap, snap, clap, snap. Very good. If you can do it, that means you can copy simple repeating patterns. Remember, it's clap, snap, clap, snap. Okay, now here is the next domain. Can you extend and create simple patterns? So this was a A, B pattern. This over here is a little more complex. It's A, B, B, okay? A, B, B. I'm gonna tell you the next one. A, can you tell me what comes next? If you said B and B, you were right. Now, you are going to learn more about patterns. And at the end of the lesson, I'm gonna ask you this question. Can you create your own pattern, okay? So I'm gonna take my posters down because now I will be reading a book and I don't want us to be distracted by our posters. Here I go, I took my poster number one. Now I'm taking down my poster number two. And here is my special book. Patterns in Food by Rebecca Felix. So look over here. When you look over here, what do you see? Do you see the honeycomb? That's what I see. Patterns. Do you know many foods show patterns? Patterns are things that repeat. Shapes repeat in this honeycomb. Look over here. Patterns have cores. Cores repeat twice or more. They repeat in order. James lines up fruit in a pattern. The core is apple, orange. Apple, orange is what comes next. Look at these delicious treats. Yum. What do you see? Do you see a pattern in this photo? Wow, look at this kid and his delicious cookies. Grant's cookies are stacked. Chocolate, vanilla. Chocolate, vanilla. This is an A-B pattern. Here's another kid. Letters help us see cores. Quinn's candy is red and white. Call red A and call white B. The core is A, B. Colors repeat in Chad's jar of gumballs, but they do not repeat in order. They do not show a pattern. 
So if it doesn't repeat in order, it does not show a pattern. Look at the gumballs. That's not a pattern. This girl is eating something called kebab. Can you say kebab? She's having kebab for dinner. They show an AB pattern of chicken and tomato. Can you predict what comes after the tomato? Let's see, here is the tomato. And that's right, chicken comes after the tomato. You made the right prediction. Look at this. Mmm, these can be super spicy. Have you had these before? Oh, they're super, super spicy peppers. These peppers show a pattern. Let's use letters to find the core. This has one, two, and three colors. It has green, yellow, red. So this is a A, B, C pattern. We use letters to find the core. Oh, I have another math activity we can do. Looking at these pictures, we worked on counting. Can you count how many peppers? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six peppers. Here we go. Kate's birthday cake has ice cream cones. Give each colored cone a letter. What is the core? Orange, green, red, yellow. This is the A, B, C, D pattern. This is a really, really long pattern. This has four different colors. Kate's birthday cake has four different colored ice cream cones. This is a question for you. What is your patterned food? What's the favorite pattern food that you eat? So here I go. I have a cool towel, and this cool towel has different patterns. Watermelon, lemon, lime. Watermelon, lemon, lime. This has an ABC pattern. Remember that Miss Aiden had a question for you. Do you remember my question? It is your turn to create your own pattern. Before you work on your own pattern, I'm going to give you a few examples of the things that I can find in my house. Hmm, do you have blocks? I have some blocks. So here is an example of an A, B pattern, orange, blue, orange, and blue. This is another example of my AB pattern. You can do it too. I have another example using some delicious fruits because we talked about foods and patterns. So can you tell me what this is? That's right, it's a banana. So I have my banana apple, my banana, and I'm gonna add, what comes next? Can you tell me? That's right, 
it's another apple. So look at my fruit pattern. Banana, apple, banana, apple. This is kind of hard to hold because I have so many fruits in my hand. Now it's your turn to work on a pattern, okay? You can look around your house and see what you can find. Remember that patterns repeat and they have a core. And you can copy patterns that, it, that exist or you can make your own patterns with the things you find around your house. It was so fun to work with you today. And I look forward to seeing your patterns everywhere. I hope you have a happy day. And Miss Aiden loves you very, very much. Goodbye, beautiful children. See you later.